Good morning and welcome to Kehillah Chari Torah's uh, Counting the Omer and uh, Halacha Review for Monday, May 4th. Today is 25 days of the Omer. Hayom Chamisha Ve'esrim Yom Shehem Shlosha Shavuot Ve'arba'a Yamim La'Omer. We mentioned last week when we uh, spoke about the Halachas, laws and customs of uh, during the uh, Omer period, Sfira to Omer, uh, from Pesach until Lagba Omer, uh, according to most, and uh, according all the way to Shavuot, according to some, uh, we said that uh, we don't uh, take, sh- uh, we don't uh, shave and take a haircut as a sign for uh, semi mourning uh, for the students of Rabbi Akiva who died in a plague a long time ago. Obviously, uh, nowadays we have our own plague to contend with, uh, and uh, these uh, these uh, remembrances have that much more meaning. However, during a bris milah, bris milah is not something you can put off. It happens on the eighth day, uh, assuming the health of the child. Uh, so on, for the bris milah, the sandek, who's the person holding the baby, and the mile, the one that uh, actually performs the circumcision, at, or usually uh, at the behest of the father, and the father of the baby are allowed to take haircuts and shave on the day of bris milah uh, as of the evening before they go and daven and shul that night. Uh, of course, we don't have minyanam and shul, but uh, you get the picture. This is according to... The halacha, however, the custom of the Arizal is not to cut the hair, even if it is a bris milah, nevertheless, uh, that permission does exist. Uh, it is permissible to uh, cut fingernails and toenails throughout the Omer. The same restrictions that apply for uh, hair cutting do not apply uh, for cutting the nails. Okay, we have been discussing uh, Rabbi Jacobson, Simon Jacobson's uh, uh, spiritual guide to counting the Omer. So for week four, day four, 25th day of the Omer, uh, the uh, uh, the sphera uh, combination in your sitter is netzach shebenetzach endurance in in endurance. Let's see what he says about that. Examine the endurance aspect of endurance, its expression and its intensity. Everyone has willpower and determination. We have the capacity to endure much more than we can imagine uh, and to prevail under the most trying of circumstances. Ask yourself: Is my behavior behavior erratic? Am I consistent and reliable? Since I have will and determination, why am I so mercurial? Am I afraid of accessing my endurance and ability to commit? Do I fear being trapped by my commitment? If so, why? Is it a reaction to some past trauma? Instead of cultivating endurance in healthy areas, have I developed a capacity for endurance of unhealthy experience? Do I endure more pain than pleasure? Do I underestimate my capacity to endure? our exercise for the day, uh, if we choose to rise to the challenge, commit ourselves to developing new good habits. That's the thought for the day. Have a good one, and we will see you tomorrow. Amir Tzashem.